Founded in 2001, Legend 3D has made a name for itself as an innovator in converting flat, two-dimensional images to 3D. The company has worked on more than a dozen major Hollywood productions, including Alice in Wonderland, The Smurfs, <gasps> all three Shreks, yeah, wow. and most recently, Hugo. For the crucial climax of Hugo, the Legend team tapped into both its 2D and 3D toolbox to work on George Melies' footage from more than a century ago. George Melies was one of the first visual effects pioneers. What he did was absolutely magical, and here we were able to take that and turn it into 3D the way he might have done it. It was beautiful footage as it was originally shot because it's so fantastical. It's got kind of a theatrical sense about it with these uh, in-camera special effects where they would you know, use a lot of uh, a very basic early compositing of film over film optical techniques. When we get footage like this that's vintage, you are maintaining the integrity of the technology at the time by helping match and preserve that feel. The result is a charming mix of vintage images rendered with state-of-the-art 3D conversion technology. Legend 3D visual effects producer Matthew Aki explains the geometry of stereoscopic 3D conversion. Z-axis re uh, basically refers to space um, on an infinite line that comes, you know, negative space, which is outside of the screen of, of, you know, your TV or your theater, and then positive spaces, you know, coming this direction on that line. So you got your east-west X, your north-south Y, and then your Z space, which is how far away your distance is to the screen or outside of the screen. Using silent footage of Harold Lloyd, a key explains how 3D can be used for impact. We really wanted to exaggerate the nature of how high in the air he was. So within the z-axis, there's a lot of space in positive space away from the screen plane where you see all the way down the block and it feels very, very deep and far away from you. Um, you know, there's a certain level of creativity and understanding of what that will do psychologically to a viewer's perception of an image or a, a, a longer sequence of images. They're taking 2D content and ultimately turning it into what your eyes truly see in real life, which is two lenses that connect at a certain point of focus and actually have a lot of depth perception. Legend 3D founder Barry Sandrew says, live action films have been easier than animated ones like the Smurfs and the Shrek films. And in all of those situations, we have characters with pristine lines and pristine everything. So you have to be even more meticulous in terms of making sure everything is clean and everything is in, in 3D looks natural. With the Smurfs and Gargamel and some of the, the cool effects moments of their battles, we bring them out and we shoot lightning bolts out at the audience and they give the kids a little bit of that tickle, you know, it's kind of fun. And then, uh, you know, a movie like Transformers, it's all about scope. It's about an entire city, you know, war, giant warring robots blowing up skyscrapers. Which brings us to the film Sandrew is most proud of. That's easy. Transformers. Uh, one robot had 78,000 pieces and we had to somehow bring it into our process and make it, every aspect of that robot accurate in terms of volume in 3D and also take all of the practical effects like real fire and cars flipping and everything he does and make it all look seamless. There's you know shots that can last anywhere from you know 10 seconds to a minute in, in duration and they're tracking with helicopters and flying all over the place with all sorts of backgrounds. You can imagine the work it takes not just to do a single frame and establish death but to follow that when explosions happen and there's a zillion dust particles that you literally have to place in different levels of depth. I mean there's a lot of work throughout the shot. You could have 10 or 15 layers up to something like Transformers where we had uh, you know, 100 to 150 layers. You know, every layer has to be treated as an element that has to have some level of depth and some creative design to it. Transformers 3 is one of 10 films on the shortlist in the running for a visual effects Oscar. Half of the films this year were released in 3D, and Legend worked on three of those. So Sandrew isn't worried that 3D is a passing fad. There's too much momentum in the consumer electronics industry, the exhibitors, the studios. Uh, there's just too much going in that direction. To, for it to stop. Next up for Legend 3D is something that also has a San Diego tie, Top Gun. The company will be converting the 1986 film for an upcoming 3D theatrical release.